everyone. I'm back with another video, and this one is kind of by popular demand because I have people asking me all the time, when are you going to do a class about Google Analytics in your Etsy shop? And I have a section in the eShop Success Program about st stats and how to use them, it's called, and it has the thing about Google Analytics. Because when you, hit, when you connect Google Analytics to your Etsy shop, it can give you a lot of information, like where was my listing shown when someone actually clicked on it? And that way you don't have to guess and you don't have to use Etsy's terrible stats that gives you averages because averages tell you nothing. So take a look at this video. This is a video that I did for the public Facebook group. So if you're in that group, you might have seen it, but go ahead and set this up if you haven't because it will give you a lot of information and you need to get as much information as you can to get a full picture of what's going on inside your Etsy shop. Okay, here's your quickie view of how to set up Google Analytics. I'm going to do this as fast as I can. You want to go to analytics.google.com, okay? And you, if you have a Google account, you can log in with that. Everybody has a Google account. It's the one you use to log into YouTube, log into Google, Gmail, whatever, okay? So you're going to go to Google, or it's analytics.google.com, okay? And then you're going to go to the admin button. Now this might be up at the top, it might be down here at the bottom, sometimes I've seen it up here. But you want to look for the little gear icon, click on admin, and that will take you to this panel here, okay? You want to click on create account, and you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it test, and I would just name it after your Etsy shop, What is just to keep it straight. Click next. You want to measure your website. Click next. You want to put in, you know, same name, test. Okay, now here is where you put in the URL of your website, just this part, just the part from the www, okay? Because this is there automatically. So you're going to check HTTPS and did I copy this or not? I may not have copied it. Uh, copy, paste, okay. Check your category if you want to. I would just put hobbies and leisure, whatever. What is your reporting time? New York, create. Okay, accept their terms and conditions, which basically says they can take all your information for the rest of your life. And you are done. This is your tracking ID. Okay, you wanna copy that. All right, and you wanna to go to properties. Oh, darn it. You wanna to go to property settings. Actually, I'll, I'll go on, I'll finish up here. Get your tracking ID, go over to your Etsy shop Click on settings, options, web analytics, and put that web property ID there. Click save. I don't want to do that because I already have this tracked, but that's, that's how you do it. So you put it in this section, click save, and you're done. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you here, I'm going to go to my, uh, it's the Etsy shop here. Okay. What you want to do here, go to your property settings here, and it, again, it's going to it's gonna show up looking like this. Okay, so go over here to your view, view settings down here, and you want to scroll down, and when, it, when it's first set up, it looks like this, okay? So you want to turn that on, site search tracking, and put in GA underscore search underscore query, okay? So put that in a little box then click save and that's it. That starts tracking the information from when you set it up. So make sure you put that web property ID in here, click save, and it will start tracking your information now. So it doesn't retroactively track stuff, but give it some time. You'll start seeing searches and you have to, you know, you have to actually go in here and look at the analytics. So this will give you like, it gives you information about, um, the search terms people use and the page that your listings were found on and all kinds of all kinds of interesting things so that's it it's very simple that's all it took now what's going to happen is google analytics will start collecting information from your etsy shop so give it a week i'm going to post another video next week about what you can start to look for and how you can use this information because it does give you another view it's like having another set of eyes on your shop and it doesn't collect all the information and neither does Etsy stats. So when you put the two together, it does kind of round out the, the information that you do have. It's always valuable to have another set of eyes on your shop. So if you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so that you will get notified 
but you have to hit the notifications bell to do that and also click all notifications because YouTube doesn't always tell you when you get when I get a new video but if you click all notifications you have a better chance you can also join the public Facebook group where this video originally was so sometimes I put things in there that I don't put on YouTube and the link is for that is in the description so I will talk to you guys later and uh, keep an eye out for my next video about how to use this information that you're gathering from Google Analytics.